Hi, this is Tom with Running Shoes Guru. I'm here with Thomas Buxton from Brooks, and he's going to take us to through the uh, new 2014 line. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get started with the Ghost, really our, our core shoe for the neutral line. Key updates to this shoe, really the big story being that we've moved the drop-ins, and now we're going to a blended DNA midsole. That's going to give you this, that great adaptability from DNA throughout the entire shoe, and then that smoothness of all one compound. Nothing has been cut out, nothing has been put in. Just that one smooth compound through the midfoot. Um, got the flat laces on the top, really accommodating to all different foot shapes. Um, and then the forefoot, continuing on with an update we did last year, both the TPU on the forefoot for that seamless construction. Again, really accommodating to a lot of different foot types, no bunion issues. Um, other than that, you know, the thing we love to hammer home with this is that consistency. People know what they're going to get out of it. It's that same great shoe they had last year, with just a couple of tweaks to make it even better. Okay, not too much change, but like sure. Yeah. Uh, kind of on the opposite end of that, we've got the Grit 3, which is quite a huge update from the Grit 2. So with this shoe, we really wanted to kind of reimagine the shoe and take it to an even more aggressive place. Take, take it to a place where it wasn't just the trail version of the Pure Project, but it was in fact a lightweight trail shoe. That's how we wanted everyone to think of it. So we have a brand new outsole construction on this. Um, you've got those pentagons all the way through the bottom. It has a spike plate a rock plate for the first time in the history of this shoe. And we have done away with the sewn tongue, so mm -hmm. it's disconnected on both sides. You have enough trouble on the trail without having to worry about stuff like that or any gunk getting caught underneath it. It's just really easy to get things out of that. We've also done away with the toe flex. So now we have that tread coming all the way up, on, up onto the toe as well. So if you are descending and have to go, go down the toe, you should be fine there. Um, I noticed the is, yeah, the toe flex was a split toe design just for people with yes. terminology. Yeah. So that's done away with completely. Yeah. It's, no, it's just done just away with the grit. Yeah. Okay. So, so again, kind of, kind of how I referenced at the beginning, we really want to move this shoe over into true trail. If it's something that we feel like uh, isn't going to lend to the trail as much, then we're okay doing away with that. So we want this shoe first and foremost to be uh, trail tested and to really perform no matter what the conditions are out there. Now, I did try this on yesterday. It's a size nine. I'm a nine and a half, and it is a little bit wider and more accommodating to forefoot. Very excited for the shoe. Yeah, me too. Had that. Uh, staying in the trail category, we have the Cascadia 9. This guy has already shown up in some stores, but it'll be uh, February 1st. Basically, you'll be able to find it anywhere. Um, again, this is another shoe that has a great following, so we really work on uh, tweaking things that we're tweaking without completely reimagining the shoe. So in this in this year's iteration of the shoe, it's gone seamless except for the toe and the heel. So, I mean, you know, this shoe's getting used for, say, a 50 mile or any little thing that's rubbing on you yeah. is going to become a heck of a problem. So we've essentially done away with any of that. We've also gone to flat lacing on it, and it's actually a double stacked, hopefully it's big enough you'll be able to see, it's almost a double stacked flat lacing on it. Okay. Um, and what that allows to do is it's really, really durable, but again, it's not going to be pressing down on anyone's foot. Okay. Um, and then the last thing is we do have this saddle coming along from the side that actually gets put through one of the laces, and that just gives you a really secure midfoot. I know we were talking yesterday, and one of the, the comments that we had gotten is that last year's in the midfoot, for some people, was a little sloppy, and that definitely gets addressed and is not an issue whatsoever in this series. Great secure fit in the midfoot, and then a really accommodating forefoot for uh, you know space, and as you are out for a really long trail run, any swelling you know, to be able to accommodate that. Cool. It's just I think we're 11.8 ounces for the last version. Is this same? Yeah, so it's, it's going to fall right around there okay. again okay. because the only change. real change we've made structurally to it were those lack of seams. Okay. And that never drops too much more than a couple of tenths of ounces. Yeah. yeah, great looking up to you. Uh, moving on to the road, we've got the Ravenna 5, personal favorite of mine. Um, this shoe from the previous year's version, one thing that we've done is we've uh, removed the seams of the forefoot. So again, we're going to that TPU overlays. It's uh, welded uppers instead of stitching. So there on the inside, nothing to rub on the foot. Um, this shoe has always had a really great saddle in the midfoot, but what we've now done as well is we're pulling back from the heel as well. So we've got that great support on the side and coming back from the heel. This shoe as well removes the drop-ins, so we've gone to a fully blended uh, DNA midsole on this. Again, just to clarify for the audience, we got so the drop-ins were this actual the gel pods yeah. that were put in there. So none of that anymore. None of that. Full blended. Yeah, so uh, this year, or last year's version of this shoe, had a pod in the heel and a mm -hmm. pod in the forefoot. And those spots were really adaptable and, and you know, gave you that great reaction when you came down on them. But the rest of the shoe did not have that. Mm -hmm. 
now by blending it, no matter where you're landing, no matter how you're transitioning, you're always getting that experience. Um, staying with the underfoot, we've also removed our midfoot shank, except for a small one um, there on the medial side. Mm -hmm. And the reason we've done that is you're still going to get some torsional rigidity out of this, but you're going to get such a smooth transition. Um, we call it constant midfoot contact. And by having that, again, no matter where you land, there's nothing to break it up. So between that smoothness of the midsole and that uh, constant midfoot contact, really, really smooth transition and a really fast transition as well. Um, other than that, we do color this a little bit differently, but I do want to at least let the viewers know, same exact stability level as last year. We're just trying to give it an even sleeker look. We really want this shoe to be a place that we can have some fun and really play with color and aesthetics. Uh, jumping over to the Adrenaline ASR. Okay, world standard. Yes, so you know our, our number one shoe, but in the trail version. Uh, mm -hmm. What's great about this shoe this year is it is not simply the Adrenaline with some raised tread. Okay. It definitely has some mindful alterations to it that are very trail appropriate. So if you look at the uh, tread on the bottom of it, I mean this absolutely is made for treading. You look at it and you can tell. So it's actually the same tread that was used on the Grit 2. Okay, yeah. It shows up on the bottom, and then you can see on the outside even a, a tackier tread and even a little more raised. And then on the back you have these big pieces of tread okay. that again, if, you know, if you're coming down the hill, the trail you, have, yeah, you have that to, okay. to help you out. Um, and then comes up all the way on the toe as well. But again, I mean, the, the old standard, same fit that everyone loves of the Adrenaline, but now it's really mindful updates that are super trail appropriate. Very cool. Then the big fella. So the Transcend, brand new shoe, February 1st, uh, coming everywhere at once. It's a hard release date, the second time in company history we've done that. And there, there are a couple of really great uh, tech aspects to this and some things we've never done before. So the first thing being that this is the most cushioned shoe that we've ever made. It is 25% more cushion than any other shoe we have in the world. More than the 25%. Yeah. And the way we're able to achieve that is from a new midsole compound still using DNA, but a different combination thereof, and it's referred to as super DNA. Okay. So still blended, no, uh, as we referenced earlier, no drop-ins, so no pieces throughout the shoe, blended throughout, but with that new compound, even more cushioned. You can see that there's no shanks whatsoever on the bottom of this, so a really, really smooth transition. A brand new last for us, where you have that really great fitted heel, and then as you move up, it's what we call ideal pressure zones, and it gets wider and wider, so that when you get to the forefoot, have the most space to disperse that pressure that we're coming down on. Um, brand new type of stability in this shoe. The guide rails here on the side runs around the entire shoe and gives you on-demand support. Okay. Think, of, think of it uh, like a safety net. It's there when you need it, but it's not going to be over-corrected. Interesting. And then we also kind of took a page out of the Pure Book. This has our beveled heel that we've seen in the Pure Project. It's not as drastic, but it still is a beveled heel. What we're looking to do there is just align your joints a little more. So I'm not trying to necessarily take you to the forefoot, but if we can just take you from uh, an extreme heel strike to a little bit forward, we're going to get you over your body a little bit more and help to take some stress off of the joints. Uh, we also have a no sew upper on this. So again, just no seams uh, to, to bother the foot anywhere. But ultimately, this is just going to be our most plush most cushion shoe. This is that person looking for the ultimate float experience. Put the shoe on and just go. MSRP on the transcend? $160. Okay, okay. Beautiful shoe. Thank you, Tony.